So um, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, today we inducted 13 fellows and 12 members into the Ghana Computer Foundation. The fellows are people who will now be able to take the roles of senior specialists or consultants in their facilities. They are able to precept, uh, as in train other pharmacists, specialist pharmacists. They are also able to provide specialist care. You know that we have a lot of specialists, um, medics. So these are um, pharmacists who have specialized in particular areas and with that they are able to support the medical team in the delivery of um, health service through their specific expertise in pharmaceutical service delivery. Mm -hmm. Madam, you did mention in this country and what should be done to help. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, when pharmacists have to do their um, support their own training, it means they have to save money. Their institutions, a lot of the time, will give them steady leave. But the fees for the college and the fees, maybe some of them will have to travel. For instance, we do the training of clinical pharmacists in teaching hospitals. So if the person is not in a teaching hospital, the person has to travel for a period of two years. In some instances, maybe leave their families, sometimes move their families to be on the ground in the teaching hospital. And this creates some challenges because they, are, they also have to pay their fees to the college. In a few instances, we get some institutions, their institutions, recognizing how they will contribute and how they're already contributing. And then those institutions will give them some financial support. But by and large, they have to find those resources themselves. This creates um, a limitation to the pharmacists doing the program. Indeed, the residency program is a two-year program, but there are times when pharmacists, because of financial constraints, will defer part of the program. So they will start and then along the line, they will defer because they do not have the finances to continue. And also, um, what that also does is that if the pharmacists are not trained as specialists and they are working with specialist medical doctors, it means they will not be able to provide that level of pharmaceutical service that is needed. And we know that the specialist doctors, they are providing major services in all, in all, all across the country. They need the support and the contribution of specialist pharmacists. But these specialist pharmacists right now have to find their own money. So if they do not have the money, they won't come for the training. They will not be able to provide that level of service that is required. And so the population, the, the general public, loses because they do not benefit from that extra expertise and skill that the specialist pharmacists will bring on board. Does that mean that we are not... Yes, for instance, as I told you, 12... Um, graduated today as members and those 12 I mean right now there are 16 regions in Ghana even if each one were, were to say that our practice in a region we don't even have enough for, um, to, to meet and then when you look at teaching hospitals all the teaching hospitals have specializations there is a need to have specialist pharmacists in all of these and you cannot have one specialist pharmacist when you have more than one specialist medic, you see. So if you look at it like that, then really we are, we are not getting enough of those resources because we are depending on the people having to find the money from their own pockets to come and do their training because they also recognize that this training is beneficial for them. But if the people do not have the financial resources, they, they, they cannot come. What should be done, madam, to solve the problem? We have to put a mechanism in place. At this time, there are some specialist training which is, which is um, um, taken care of by government. I believe that it is possible to put some kind of mechanism in place, whether it is a kind of um, support which will allow the pharmacists to pay over a long period of time without interest. I'm sure a lot of pharmacists will be ready to take that kind of support. So it is that you, if you go through the training, once you apply and you get admission, you may have access to this 
um, pot of money, you will have to pay over a certain period of time, but without interest. That gives them flexibility. At least that would be a starter. Even if the if we were we are in the position where we say no at this time we all know the economic situation we can't say that government should fought everything but it will be a starter if everybody who got that admission to come to the college were given uh, maybe some financial support which they can pay interest free over a long period of time that would be flexible for them to do i think that is one um one strategy that we can consider as a nation to help in the in building the capacity of our manpower with respect to uh, specialist training and pharmaceutical services. Thank you very much. Thank you.